Today we are going to learn how to solve and find the equation to a polynomial function of n degree given only a table of values. I'm going to have a student do this. Her name <laughs> is Bethany. She is your typical high school student that struggles at mathematics. But we are going to have a simple and easy way to perform this operation. She has been given a table of values, as you can see here. Her first step to finding the equation to the polynomial function is to, f is to find what degree the polynomial function is. In order to do that, she is going to have to find the rate of change of the given variables <laughs> and their output. Now that she has found the rate of change, and they are not all the same constant rate of change, she's going to have to find the rate of change of the rate of change. Again, we have the same result. We have the rate of change of the rate of change, but they are not all the same constant. So. Bethany will again have to find the rate of change of the rate of change of the rate of change. Go. A polynomial of degree 3 will have the form px equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Now that we have the constant coefficient, we are going to work backwards to find the x or the y value when x equals 0. So now we have found our d value. What we're going to do now is, is set up three different equations. We're going to call them a, b, and c. And we're going to use what we already know, which is when x equals 1, y equals 800. When x equals 2, y equals 799. And when x equals 3, y equals 782. And we're going to set up p of 1 equals a x equals 1 cubed plus b x equals 1 squared plus c x equals 1 plus 797 which equals 800 and we're going to do the same thing for when x equals 2 and x equals 3 those are going to be our equations a b and c so now we're going to simplify those so now we have a equations a b and c simplified so first we are going to try and cancel out the C. By, in order to do that we are going to add the negative A equation plus B. So that gives us negative A or minus A minus B minus C equals negative 3 plus 4A plus 2B plus C equals 1. And that is going to give us 3A plus b equals negative 2. Now we're going to add the negative equation of a plus c in order to again cancel out the c variable. So we have negative a plus minus b minus c equals negative 3 plus 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 5. So that gives us 8a plus 2b equals negative 8, which simplifies to 4a plus b equals negative 4. 4. And that's going to equal a 
equals negative 2. So now we have our a coefficient. Now we are going to sub, substitute a back in to the equation that we had from the previous problem. And so that's going to give us negative 8 plus b equals negative 4 which gives us that b equals 4. So now we have our b coefficient which is 4 and we're going to substitute our a and our b back into our original a equation and so that is going to give us minus 2 plus 4 plus c equals 3 so 2 plus c equals 3 which means that c equals 1 so now we have all of our coefficients and that means we can plug in our coefficients to our polynomial equation which is going to be p of x equals negative 2 x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 797 and that is going to be our final answer and that is how you find a polynomial equation given only a table of values.